Back many, many years ago, back to the days of older League of Legends, there was an unwritten code between players that dictated, basically within the first minute of the game, how an entire lane would go, and who was going to be the one to tilt off the face of the planet. It was a prestigious code that every player upheld to the fullest extent, as if it was part of the summoner's code itself. That strategy was that within the first few seconds of each game, every laner would take off as quickly as possible to their designated areas and would try to rush the enemy's first bush before the opponent got there, thus watching and waiting for the enemy who was honor bound to face check it and die, completely tossing the early game to the victor. I'm not even joking when I say everyone did this, and if you played back in the first few seasons of League of Legends, you probably remember it. It was like every player was a lemming who was programmed to do one thing and one thing only. Buy your items as quickly as possible and fucking book it like you're on the lam from the cops running through your jungle like... And it never failed to both make me incredibly happy or infuriate me to absolutely no end when I either successfully breached the first bush without being crushed into the earth by an extremely pissed off Alistair or ended up walking into first bush and the entire enemy team have decided that they have a shit list of people that they want to gangbang and I happen to be at the fucking top of it. I am your worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't even something that was stuck to bot lane. This shit even happened mid lane. The amount of times that I'd be just chilling out, playing some LeBlanc mid or something, having taken Q first, I go to take a minion, and then five of the enemy team come bursting out of the river at speeds that would make even Sonic the Hedgehog look like a 90 year old arthritic pensioner. This was simultaneously the scourge of League of Legends in the early seasons, and one of the things that I look back at so fondly, there really was nothing more fun than doing this kind of stuff with your friends. Doing ridiculous ganks as a squad back before people decided that maximizing XP gains were actually a good idea, you didn't really give a shit. If you spent four minutes trying to gank bot lane over and over again, by the time you hit top lane you're three levels behind, it didn't even make the slightest bit of difference because you were having fun and it sent a message to the enemy. Now this is undoubtedly the most random, specific RIP video that will ever exist. But I've been playing with a few friends recently, uh, those chuckle fucks in that group that's called Carp Crew, and the enjoyment that I've had playing with them got me thinking back to when I truly, truly enjoyed League of Legends. And it, it made me miss things like this. It made me miss the silly shit that you pull with your friends that I try to encapsulate in a lot of my videos and my off-meta builds. Not that I don't enjoy the game now, but it's not really a game I play so much to fuck around in. And I think it's kind of similar for a lot of people now. It's a game that I play to either get better at or to scratch that competitive itch that I have for gaming, which I think a lot of people can feel me on. Now with the amount of esports that like Riot shoves down our throats, and the fact that basically League of Legends comedy videos are entirely dead with the exception of maybe a handful of people in each region, it kind of feels like the old spirit of the game has been buried in a shallow grave. It's like when Donkey, Kiori and Civ HD all kind of disappeared from the League scene, the spirit of comedy on this game pretty much just went with them. Sure, if you like good players, boy is there a lot of them to watch, but it's because of that change in philosophy that Riot had that I think everybody is so much more drawn and pushed to stream highlights of good players nowadays than back in those days where everybody just made stupid funny videos with their friends and had the time of their lives. I guess I've kind of gone off topic a little bit now off the, the season one bush strat, but thinking about it, it makes me really happy that I got to live those times. But it's kind of a little bit sad to see now. The level 1 boost strat was pretty much the strat that encompassed years of enjoyment for me. Years of content from my favourite creators that I adore as a fan. Long before some of them became dear friends to me. Years before Ross Boomsocks even existed. And I think that should be enough to warrant some respect for me. I'm sorry for the shorter video and I'm sorry for the mic quality. Because uh, I'm not at home right now. But R.I.P. boost strat. There's not often time that goes by where I don't think back to you and the people and spirit I associate with you. Rest in peace.